My name is Jeff Camber and I'm running for Alameda City Council. I am an attorney, a special events producer, and a community mediator. I have been self-employed for 30 years in a variety of businesses, which I think gives me the background to handle finances and budgeting that I'll be asked to do as a city council member. And for the last eight years before I retired, I was an assistant city attorney where I drafted laws, advised the council, and protected 158,000 people. I've lived in Alameda for 26 years and during that time I've seen a lot of changes. I believe that right now we are flourishing even given the economy the way it is right now and I want to be part of that continued progress that we're making. I would give our current city council a B to a B plus. Generally, I think they've done a very good job in the issues that they've had to deal with. And if I had any criticism at all, it would just be to be more open about what it is that we do. And I don't think, I think that's a system problem. I don't believe that it's an individual problem with uh, the Brown Act, the California Public Records Act. Sometimes there are limitations and I am hoping to be able to be a little more open and assertive when issues that are going to come before the residents, um, I can bring those ahead of time. I'm not sure that I would change anything about Alameda. There's a lot of people that like Alameda just the way it is right now. I think there's a number of people from the political side that may want things changed, but when you look at our basic quality of life that we have here, between our business districts, our schools, public safety, I don't think we can ask for a better place to live. So I think there are a number of city services that would benefit from increased funding. Parks, libraries, and deferred maintenance are the ones that come to mind right now. With parks and the library, I think they could benefit from some public-private partnership. And I don't mean privatizing the services, but really ways where volunteers could help in those areas so that we could get our maintenance back up on parks, for instance. For our deferred maintenance on streets and things like that, that's a little more difficult. I think we have to realistically budget those things. Uh, they have been excluded before because there's been a lot of pressure and demand for other types of public services. So I think we need to start being realistic about budgeting for those things because I don't think you're going to get volunteers to help pave streets. I am my top donor at the moment.